All right, our coverage of a sick nation continues here on KTN Prime. Joining me now in studio is Jacqueline Kitulu. She's chairperson of the Kenya Medical Association. Thank you for joining us on KTN Prime. Your association you. today stripped CS and PS health of their membership over a period of one year. Why is that? The Kenya Medical Association, as you know, is the umbrella body. That is um, the umbrella body for medical doctors and dentists countrywide. Mm -hmm. Dr. Cleopa Marilu, Dr. Muraguri are our members. And as members, they have certain privileges. And we feel that in view of crimes or acts of commission or omission that they have committed in prolonging this strike unnecessarily and not taking charge, not taking leadership to a point to, that a, this strike can be ended, we feel that they have, been, they have dishonored our association. So you In that case, blame. we therefore have revoked their membership yeah. for a period of one year, effective immediately. So they are to blame according to you for the stalemate? Yes, we believe that they are partly to blame for the stalemate. How so? The leadership at the Ministry of Health, are in, in, this is the crisis of the Ministry yeah. of Health. Yeah. In the ongoing mediation talks in the last week, and I think we have watched that on media today, we have watched Dr. Mailu discuss this in the Senate hearing, and it is very clear that in that last one week, in a, a process initiated by the industrial court, in which the strike issue was supposed to be negotiated and dealt with, none of them appeared at any of those meetings. So, so this, in yeah. that case, really, they, they were, it was an effort to frustrate those negotiations, sending junior uh, staff members from the ministry who had no authority to make any decisions yeah. was classically a situation in which they were frustrating these negotiations. So what does this temporal revocation of membership mean? What's its implication, if any? What it implies is that as members of our association, there are, there are certain privileges that we'll enjoy as members. Right. But where we have revoked you of your membership, then we shall deal with you as any other citizen mm -hmm. in the country. And um, therefore, the, those members will not, will not be party to uh, the privileges of members of the association. Mm -hmm. They will not be uh, able to attend our association meetings for that period of one year. All right. What do you say on claims that there are doctors sabotaging these negotiations, these talks, because they're cashing in on their private clinics, that with the strike going on, it's booming business on the other hand? Um, I think that is a very narrow way to look at that situation. Mm -hmm. The fact that the doctors in the public sector, there are only about, say, 10,000 doctors in this country, of which maybe only 7,000 are in practice, and 5,000 of those are employed by the public sector. Mm. So we have only 2,000 doctors who are probably not in the public sector, who are distributed between private facilities, NGOs, and academia. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, we are greatly pained, because it means, therefore, that the public, who can scarcely afford even, you know, to put food on their tables, have to go to the private sector to seek services there. So this is a situation in which the private sector, the faith-based organizations have gone all out to serve those who are reaching them. Mm -hmm. This is not a situation that any doctor, even our medical association, the Kenya Medical Association, along with all the other specialist organizations, yeah. we do not appreciate that situation. Yeah. And we are not cashing in on it. And in fact, to show solidarity, Tomorrow we have declared, as we declared in our statement earlier this, uh, this morning, that for the next 48 hours, that all other doctors who have not yet downed their tools shall do so for the next 48 hours, starting from midnight mm -hmm. until our doctors are released. Those doctors need to be released so that these negotiations can take place and be concluded and end this crisis. But what do you tell ordinary citizens who are suffering? Because on one hand, you say you sympathize, empathize with what is going on in the situation, but aren't you just going to make it worse on one hand in solidarity? But to what extent if it's going to lead to more suffering? You know, um, the health professionals, the doctors, the dentists, the pharmacists, literally we feel we are under attack. I think throughout this whole situation, we have been demonized. The doctors have served, doctors work, doctors will work in the poorest of conditions and will continue to work. This is an, a, a strike that is not just a strike out of the blue. It emanates back all the way to 2013 mm -hmm. when an agreement was signed to make sure that 
the public health system is improved in many ways to ensure that the doctors who stay in, that facility, in those facilities can effectively serve the public. Right. Along with that, then improving the terms for the doctors. But this is a, a document that was signed in 2013. We are now in 2017, February. That discussion has not been concluded, mm. really. This is a point where the doctors have been pushed to a corner. Right. This was not a decision made lightly. Mm. It was a very difficult decision to be made. So that at the point when we are today even making a further statement that all other doctors down their tools for 48 hours so that do our doctors can be released and end this crisis, we are not taking this lightly. All right. We are not taking it lightly. And then there's a doctor's fund. Are you aware that there's a lot of... Um uh, advertising and calls for messaging out there even on social media to get Kenyans to contribute to this doctor's fund. Are you aware of it? Yes. And that are. it's supposed to support doctors? Is that what it's doing? We are very aware of this. Mm -hmm. um, I think we also need to remember, I think sometimes when we think about doctors, we only think about the service they do mm. and forget that they are human beings, just like you and anyone else here in right. this studio tonight, with families, with children to take to school, with rent to pay, with all those, mm -hmm. with all those in, in mind. So these very doctors who have been on strike for the last two months and have not received their salaries, where do we expect them to pay their rent from. So how is the fund food. working? Do you come and so, say I need some 200,000? How is it working? So the fund is basically supported by fellow doctors mm -hmm. and any other well-wishers. They are able to put in the money. The fund is run by the Kenya Medical Association, by the Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya and along with KMPDU. Now what we have done is that the doctors who need apply to the fund apply through their divisions. So like the Kenya Medical Association has several divisions mm -hmm. around the country. Mm -hmm. So they are vetted through their uh, divisions and they apply for certain amounts and then the amounts are dispersed to, uh, towards them. Yeah. We don't have enough funds but we are supporting each other. Yeah. Um, by the doctors going on strike from the public facilities, I think you're also aware that they have not also been taking part in locums. Locum work is where you do you know, any other part-time work, work elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So the doctors who have been on strike have not been locuming either. Okay. So you can imagine that in two months with no salary, there are very many things they need, require to pay. And that is what the fund is all about, supporting our fellow doctors. And is there going to be a repayment uh, plan on this? Yes, there is a repayment plan because we believe this strike will end. And this strike can end if there is goodwill on the side of the government, right. there is goodwill on the union, which we know there is, and they are able to sit on that table, that strike will end. And those doctors will be able to pay back the, that money. Okay. But for now, we shall support each other and stand strong with each other. Many may look at this as an unfortunate even question to ask, but mm -hmm. there's a growing sentiment in some quarters that somehow the country is moving on and surviving 72 days into the doctor's strike. So there are those who are asking, do we even really need the system as it was if things, a bit of tweaking here and there could still make the system run without the doctors? When you say the system run, have you been to the public facilities? Mm -hmm. Have you been to a public facility even before the strike? I think if you had been in one, you'd know that the system is not functioning. Mm -hmm. I am in the private sector. I do not work in a public facility. But when I worked in a public facility, which is several years ago, my ward, a ward that would probably need to have, uh, to have 40 patients, would have 120 patients or even more. Those are the wards which, if you go around, and I think some of the media houses have shown them, that the wards are empty. So where are those 120 patients who would be inside that ward? Mm. They are somewhere suffering. And I think they are personal stories from each one of us and from our members, from our relatives. They are people who have lost lives. Mm. This is not an easy thing, and it is not something that we would wish upon our country. And that is why we are calling for action. We are saying this is something that the ministry should have taken charge and settled before even it, this deterioration into day 70 something, mm -hmm. there has been a lack of leadership there. And even as we look at that and we wonder why this has been prolonged for so long, we are wondering, is it smoke and mirrors? Is there something else? Mm -hmm. Has this situation of the strike been hijacked for another purpose? Mm -hmm. I can't answer that. Okay. But we are in a difficult situation where we are looking at a situation that could have been solved and really should have been solved even before that strike was called. All right. And yet we are in day 70 of the same issue. The same issue. Yes. Jacqueline Kitulu, Kenya Medical Association Chairperson, thank you thank so you. much for being with us.